Well, hello, everybody. Should I sing the entire video? Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, so this is from a should have been a lot better. What I'm going to show you here in a minute. From a should have been a lot better video, or excuse me, movie called Black Friday. Maybe this video I'm doing should be a lot better by the time I'm done. Okay, so here's what it's about. On Thanksgiving night, a group of disgruntled toy store employees begrudgingly arrive for work to open the store at midnight for the busiest shopping day of the year. Meanwhile, an alien parasite crashes to Earth in a meteor. This came out last week, and then the movie gets boring and it's not very good. So this is, uh, I'll show you a couple pictures from it. Meteor warnings, yeah. Meteor mayhem. So isn't it kind of interesting that, boy, it doesn't matter if it's Joe Biden or uh, Frankie, the climate change human cause, it's your fault, dinosaur, or an Elvira show, or it just doesn't matter. Somewhere, Adele, somewhere, somehow, somebody is referencing an asteroid, a meteor, a comet that's coming crashing in. Black Friday. Let's talk about that now. So all weekend long, starting Friday, Black Friday, Omicron panic. Now, we've talked about how... I'm trying to figure out where to go, where to store. Let's start with this. For those of you who have not seen my private, uh, previous or prior videos, I made a big prediction that I thought on Friday, November 19th, because 11-19, 9-11 backwards, we have had lots of different main events taking place in different variations of 9-11, including this year. I've shown all that in my previous videos. So I made this big prediction that I thought that there was going to be a cyber attack or blackout, which would cause mayhem in the financial markets on Friday, November 19th, last Friday. And the main reason why I picked that, um, about the financial markets being the target, specifically, is because the full moon and the lunar partial lunar eclipse <clears throat> took place in Taurus, which is the sign of finance, as well as other things, but we'll just for right now, is the sign of finance, the house of finance. Eclipses signify change. So I took that as a, everybody look out, I think there's going to be some sort of cyber attack blackout, which will cause mayhem in the banking and a system in the markets, you know, a stock market, not a crash, but basically a shutdown and then chaos in the financial markets. Well, and in that video, I very arrogantly said that I thought it was going to be that day and that I didn't need a week because my prior big prediction was in 2020, where I said I thought an assassination or the dollar collapse would happen sometime between Friday, January 10th and Sunday, January 12th. Well, what happened was, was that we had an assassination on Friday, January 3rd. So I was off by a week. So then I got real big for my britches and said, Friday the 19th, don't you worry about it. I don't even need a week this time. It's going to happen that day. And I was wrong. However, comma, we had some very big history makers and changers that day. Austria became the first country in the world to mandate the vaccines. And 9-11 is a, is, a, is a number of crisis. And I'd say that's definitely a crisis. And then on top of it all, my favorite is that Friday is the is in the ruler of Taurus is Venus and the Masons are Ma's sons. It's what it means, and I've shown you in, in a book, and it's it's not just in that book. It's very well known that these guys are Mama's boys. They worship, as the book says, uh, Isis, <clears throat> which is another name for Venus. So it's a very big day. It's a day Friday. I'm in love. Venus Friday, the great goddess. And so, um, one second, sorry got a little distracting. So the reason why it was crazy, so what happened on the Friday, on the day of Venus, on the day of the great goddesses, Mason's worship, Kamala Harris, first time ever a woman becomes president for a short amount of time, but big day, first ever, right? History maker. But then what happened? So I did need that week after all, didn't I? Because then approximately one week later in the financial markets, we had what was a 900 point drop and Carl Denninger, one of the guys I've had on my show, great dude, great author, uh, brilliant mind. You know, he's a no-shit investor. He used to own a, a small business uh, a tech company in the 90s or ran a business and sold it and retired and basically just worked when he wanted to and does interviews and wrote a book and all that kind of stuff. But he's a no-shit investor, plays in the markets. And like he said, he said, you know, back in the day, because in 2008, whenever the stock market crashed, it crashed, crashed by 777 points. So this, mar so this market drop at 900 plus points, he said, back in the day, we used to call that a crash. 
But nowadays, every, a day is everything's so blown up and so overvaluated and we have so high inflation numbers so high nobody bats an eye about that. But 13 years ago, we would have called that a crash. So what happened? They call And they also said it was like one of the worst daily drops, if not the worst daily drop in oil's history. Uh, they said it was a Thanksgiving for the for the uh, uh, post Thanksgiving market session for the ages biggest sell off in seventy years. Okay, that was one week after I predict what I expected. Not predicted. I, well, I mean, whatever I expected. So, granted, again, no, no cyber attack, no blackout. But I was expecting some kind of financial turmoil, and then wouldn't you know it, one week later, that's exactly what happened. A news making history maker. Oh my goodness, everybody's freaking out because now all of a sudden this thing, this is, oh, this is for oxygen, this is for Uranus, this is for all for Aquarius, the age of Aquarius that we're in. Also reminds me of an eclipse, yeah? Like we're going to have here in just a few days? So I'm not going to listen to anybody, this stuff ain't legit, man. I've only been doing this shit for four years, man, using astrology for four years, and, and just... Here's, I've predict, I, my prediction so far with astrology has been that your daily, this is, is back as like early as 2017, that your daily life is going to change in 2020. There's going to be an assassination and there's going to be a market crash in 2020. There's going to be assassination or dollar collapse on January 10th and January 12th. And then I, uh, January, or excuse me, November 19th, Friday, there's going to be some sort of cyber attack, which is going to cause all kinds of problems in the financial sector and the banking system. And I've been off for a week i mean that's one of the colors pretty good and then you got to think about this too man the stock market's only crashed down that low only a handful of times in the past like 13 years because in 2008 at when uh the stock and that was a 9th september 29th 9 11. so you see what i mean there's all these different variations of 9 11 whether it's straight up 9 11 like in 2001 or on September 29th, which is 9/11 in 2008. Or how about the 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 the, the Capitol riot of this year, right? January 6. Six is a nine. Nine is a six. And January is the 11th month on the zodiac calendar, so 9/11. And so you have all these different variations. But the the stock market crashed 777 points. That was considered the biggest drop ever. It, I mean, it wasn't. It was. Excuse me. It was the biggest drop ever. Now, 13 years later, we beat that. So we, we, we were expecting financial turmoil. We got a stock market crash one week later. And I told, I even said, give it a week, but I don't think I'm going to need it. But I did, didn't I? And so I'm just bringing all this up. Because there, I'm trying, I mean, if you can't see this in real time, man, like there's something to it all. There's something to this. And this Omicron stuff, I wasn't going to say anything because there's other, a whole bunch of other shits come out now. Uh, but whenever I first saw this, is oh my crown, because this is about your Aquarius, uh, Uranus, Aquarius is the top of your head. That's the crown chakra. That's the purple crown chakra. And Saturn is at the very, very, the very flip of that. It's at the very, it's your, <laughs> it's the root chakra. It's at the bottom. Uh, but you have a battle, that, and they're going to be, you have a Saturn and Uranus square coming up here very soon the, in December. This is a whole very, this is going to be, a, this is a big battle, man. And so it's a battle over the crown. It's a battle over power. It's a battle over, battle over ruling, over who's going to rule. All right, so you have this Omicron or Oh My Crown. This is why they, uh, the Native Americans and also the Troglodytes, if you watch the movie Bone Tomahawk. Woo! They scalp you because they're taking your crown. It's another way of saying you're, you've been overthrown. So let's look at this Omicron, man. I could have kicked myself for this. I remember when it came out, but I'm a total. Well, we'll, we'll cover this first, and I'll tell you. Then I'm gonna show you I'm a total. How I am a total pussy. Watch this. Okay, so here's a movie called Omicron in 1963. I just found this uh, from a hunch from. Uh, I was looking at stuff because Monograph actually found this stuff about a movie called, a, we'll show that first, but looking into that, was it this one? Oh, did they change it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder if they took, oh no, here it is. Okay, there. I was like, how do I get to more of them? There, here, look, look. Look, so this was just posted. The November 2020 re 2021 remake is a little more moronic. 
But I guess what more can you expect from billionaire movie makers? There are there are no funny moments in the remake, so I suggest everyone should watch the original instead. I'm certainly going to. Hopefully the crowd see the remake for what it is this time. And there is no remake. They're talking about what's happening in the news. This is some movie that came out in 1963, okay? Now you see that, look here, you see how this is pointing down, right? Right on top, pointing to what? The top of the head to the crown chakra. All right, you want to go up. Saturn is descending. Or I'm not even going to show you. I don't have to because you can see it. See the Uranus right there? That's how you spell it anyway. Why? Why would you choose the one that takes you down? This is the planet symbol of Uranus, Uranus, up. You see? They want you to choose. Why? This And this guy's name literally means heaven. I don't understand. I mean, there are some very good mind gamers on here. I mean, oh, that was the picture. Okay, you see? And do you see? Look. Look at the Omicron. Omicron. Look at this. Do you see it, man? Come on, dude. Better choose love. Better choose love. All right, let's keep going. So this is from... I. So I found this because of Monty's... And Monty, admitted Mason, doesn't understand much. He really doesn't. <clears throat> and that's his fault. And if he, hey, you make it, go ahead, bud. You go on one of your live streams and say, hey, I'm calling somebody, uh, Marishima. I'm calling Tony out saying I don't know much as a Mason. You call me out, bud. We'll have a debate. I'd love to. You uh, saying that the, the woman needs the man for the physical strength. You have never done any. How about you read the Odyssey, pal? Who stopped the Odyssey, the greatest war ever at the time? A woman did, Athena. She came down and no one stepped to her ass. So how about you just start with that? But, you know, whatever. But that's good information. I'm just, but I'm not trying to pick a fight. I'm just saying that just, I don't know if you know you're what you're doing. Again, the same people that are telling you to worship Saturn, that Saturn's the answer, and that's the way out of here, and that's the only way you're going to make it home. I don't know if they know what they're doing or if they're doing it on purpose and they're they're demonically possessed or whatever the case may be. So anyway, so going, I only got 15 minutes. That's why I talk so fast because I refuse to get the camera out because it's a lot of work and I can just do this. And I'm too lazy to do a couple of uh, cuts and edit it all together. So this is where originally from Monty I got the hint, the the hunch for or the idea to go look more into this movie title, The Visitor from Planet Omicron. An alien. This is from 2013. An alien comes to Earth with a botanical I don't care virus. All right, stupid. Now let me show you how I'm a total pussy. There's a movie called Oxygen, Oxygen, Oxygen. Oxygen, I literally spent the first half of the first season of my television show, Lockdown uh, Living Room Comedy Show, Love on Lockdown, also part of that, uh, SciTV.com. I spent the first half of the first season of my show talking about Aquarius being an air sign, and that's what it's all about, is they're trying to take, because they say uh, cor coronavirus attacks your lungs, your air, right? So check this out. Oxygen movie came out in this earlier this year, I think it was May, and look at the lead character's name. Look what her name is. Where are you? Ooh. I don't know why I can't find it right there. We'll just do this. It's real simple. Because I'm tired of poking around and do this. Let's go. Oxygen movie 2021 Omicron 267, I think, is her stupid name. Here's the thrill of Oxygen kicks in as Omicron 267 begins to negotiate furiously with Milo to try to get the answers to So here you go. There it is. And I wouldn't watch this movie because I wanted to see it because it's directed guy by a guy uh, named Alexander Aja who did... Uh, uh, she even can't remember who she is going only by the moniker Omicron 267. But the real problem is her pot is at rapidly running out of oxygen. I have real bad claustrophobia, so I wouldn't watch this, even though I, the, the guy who directed this did uh, the remake of Hills Have Eyes, uh, High Tension, one of my favorite French movies of all time. Piranha 3D, I mean, did a great job on that. I even like P2 that he did. I was, it's not great, but, uh, but I wouldn't watch it. Just like I want to watch that movie Buried with Ryan Reynolds, but I can't because I'm severely claustrophobic. But so it's so funny that I didn't watch it, and then here you go. I, very, I remember this coming out and be like, damn it, I want to watch it, but I'll just have a panic attack. <laughs> and here it is. So I don't know what else to tell you, people. It's all right here. Um, yeah. What have you done for love today? Because only love is going to protect you from your lack of oxygen because love is the breath of life.